The Delta Ponds project is one that began in uh, 2002, and this is a 300-acre area that is actually some old gravel pits. And the city of Eugene and the Corps of Engineers a few years ago decided it would be a good idea to reconnect the old gravel pits and the old gravel area back to the river. It was the mayor's vision to turn what was really an eyesore into what he called Eugene Central Park and what others have called one of the best urban natural areas on the West Coast. There was no single entity that was going to be able to make that happen. The city didn't have the budget to do that. Uh, the federal government didn't have the program to do that. Um, and so it took all the different parties coming together and by, by collaborating, by using the Oregon Solutions process to sort of come together and add their various contributions, they are able to create something that none of them could have created on their own. The opportunity to make it come together was a challenge. And the biggest challenge, and Steve had some idea about this because he originally comes from here, how do you get the different segments of the community to feel like they're comfortable enough to sit down and talk about making this happen? And he went out into the community and talked group by group by group and almost, uh, is it important that something happen in Delta Ponds? In this project, the solutions process that we all engaged in was not your normal uh, stakeholder process. Uh, we didn't invite everybody we could think of to the table. We really were much more strategic about that and thought about who it was that could really help in some way, who could contribute resources, whether they be financial resources, technical resources, political resources. And so the folks we invited to the table were people who could really help make this happen. An elected leader has an opportunity in this role to take him or herself out of the elected position and put themselves into part of a team. As a convener, you want to be a participant representing a position of the people in the community, but letting other people in the community say, well, don't forget about the needs of the Audubon Society, and don't forget about the needs of the stream team. And, and when the Rotarians come in and help build this beautiful pathway, then on the other side of town, the Lions Club says, well, how can we help? So you just bring the folks together. I think one of the key factors was also having the mayor of the city of Eugene be the convener and bring people to the table uh, with a sense that something was going to happen and a sense that they would be heard uh, and that their contribution would be valued. I helped support that whole notion of a neutral forum because it wasn't the city coming out to talk to them, it wasn't a federal agency. Um, it was somebody who represented this neutral forum where everyone could come together as equal partners. When the Corps of Engineers said the funding that was going to come to the project was no longer available, this group of support signers, if you will, of the declaration wouldn't let it die. And it might have taken two or three more years to make it happen, but as a result of that continuing to move forward, we now are in a position to have that bike path slash walking path over the highway become the only shovel-ready project in this community out of the entire stimulus project out of Washington, D.C. While it's not completely done yet, it's already changed the way people think about this area and you'll see on every single day people walking, biking, uh, bringing their families uh, on the trails through the area and, and enjoying it. So one of the things that made this project both successful and special, I think, is the engagement of the private business sector, the government sector, and the civic sector all working together to make the project be better than any of us, I think, could have imagined at the beginning. We always have had, and I hope always will have, this great 
natural area reputation. I think what it has done in addition to enhancing that reputation as a natural area, it has indicated that if we come together on some key issues, we can make it happen. We don't have to fight about things. We can agree on some things and make it happen. And this is, this is a real jewel in that crown.